Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. In this podcast, I'm going to discuss about a very interesting concept I stumbled upon. I was reading an article recently called The Analytics Engineer and from a blog called Locally Optimistic. And what this article is t- saying is that we need a new role in data, that of the analytics engineer. And I found this very interesting because this article expressed some ideas similar to the ones I had expressed on my blog, The Data Scientist, about Uh, requiring a new role in data science called the data science architect. But what are all these roles about? So let's take things one at a time. So traditionally in data science, we have three separate roles. We have the data engineers, the analysts, and the data scientists. So the data engineers, these are the plumbers that are responsible for maintaining the infrastructure, for making sure that the data is stored and the flows work smoothly. And they usually they don't have any knowledge of data science or machine learning or statistics, but they're very good software developers. Then we have the analysts whose responsibilities are around creating reports and simple analysis. So they might be extracting data and they might be visualizing the data on a dashboard. Uh, So it's quite likely they'll be using from simple tools like SQL and Excel or maybe tools like Tableau. And finally, we have data scientists. These are people that have a deep understanding of uh, what is going on behind the scenes of various algorithms. They know about machine learning, they know about statistics, etc. So data scientists, they extract the data and then they spend most of their time working on algorithms. In the last few years, we've seen a few changes. We've seen some great data warehousing solutions on the cloud, like BigQuery, Redshift, and Snowflake. We have some data pipelines as a service companies, which make the creation of pipelines very easy. And also some great business intelligence tools like Mode and Periscope. And also companies seem to be getting more familiar with machine learning concepts like prediction and personalization. So this means that the job of a data engineer can be automated to a large extent, or you might just be able to do this with a single contractor instead of having a full data engineering team. This also means that analysts now, since they have access to pipeline tools, they have more possibilities, they have more opportunities to use these tools in order to create slightly more complicated pipelines that access the different like parts of the warehouse instead of working with you know only SQL or Excel and at the same time data scientists might have to do some similar tasks they might have to also deal with you know uh, creating some pipelines in order to extract data so this means that data engineers start moving towards the background and analysts and data scientists start doing more data engineering work. And this is where the opportunity for a new role lies. So we can't expect analysts to be proficient in machine learning, and we can't expect data scientists to be great in software engineering. But at the same time, it looks like we're asking for both of these roles to have some business understanding and also to have some basic familiarity with data engineering tools, which can help them extract data and build pipelines. So the suggestion of this article is that we create a new role called the analytics engineer who are good in communicating results and understand the business, even if that's not their full-time job, but at the same time, 
they have a good understanding of how to create some simple analysis, but also some basic understanding of data engineering. So essentially what this role is doing, they sit in the middle between the analysts and the data scientists and the data, and they facilitate the extraction of the data, but at the same time, they guide the direction of the research and of, of the development. So basically what this role is about is about making the life of analysts and data scientists easier and also making sure that operations run more smoothly. So if this role was to be implemented in an organization, then we would expect that the analytics engineer would spend most of their time to build useful pipelines and help facilitate the connection between the analyst, the data scientists, and the data. And at the same time, the analytics engineers would be responsible for maintaining the code base for those pipelines. So this means that the data scientists, they wouldn't have to worry anymore so much about how to create a pipeline or how to maintain it. And this also holds true for an analyst. And at the same time, the analytics engineer has a decent understanding of the business so they can create pipelines or suggest the creation of new pipelines even before the analysts or the data scientists ask for them. So that is, uh, this is a very interesting suggestion and I do believe that we might actually be seeing something similar to this role soon. Now something interesting with organizations in technology, but also pretty much all organizations, there might be some roles which have been adopted, but they're not explicitly stated. So I wouldn't be surprised if the, I see that in a bigger organization, there are some data scientists that have taken up this role unwillingly, but and no one is actually calling them analytics engineers. But in any case, it's very important to think about topics like that because data science is useful when it creates impact within an organization. So creating the right roles with the right responsibilities is of paramount importance. It is not as simple as saying, oh yeah, I just want to hire someone to do something with my data. And obviously this relates to other topics we've discussed in the past, like uh, having the right data strategy or the different tribes of data scientists. So that was it for this podcast. I hope you liked uh, this episode. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.